Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Charles here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased price action analysis. And today guys, look at this big green body candle that we got on the daily chart. Finally, SPY is not in oversold conditions. We've got an outside daily candle here, okay? A bullish one due to it being a big green one, like the Hulk. Um, but it's, you know, it's not guaranteed we'll get more upside, but usually a big green outside daily candle like that is bullish or at the very least a sign of volatility. Lately, volatility has not been, uh, not been much, but today guys, today we had a trend day with the market picked the direction and move. We had some help from a fed speaker, of course, Bostic, feds Bostic. I am firmly in the quarter point campus when it comes to rate height, pace, and policy should begin to bite in the spring. What do you mean, Bostic? Is he supporting the 25 uh, BP or what? And, and in the, that last part of his statement, the rate height, pace, and policy should bite should begin to bite in the spring. Is that when he thinks it's gonna get worse? I don't know. But what I can tell you guys is the, the levels and the setups that we need to watch out for from a price action perspective let's prepare on the 15 minute chart here guys we had a trend day a trend day today very nice market went to the upside um and it opened market today opened around 392.63 which like made the first resistant level or the resistance zone my 393 to 393.5 zone that's these blue lines right here uh, pretty sure i mentioned it in the previous video about 393 to the 393.5 zone but basically that was a pivot low that i was watching from january 25th we had like two bounces around that level and, and combined it with the 200 daily moving average so it was a 393 to 393.5 0.5 zone that I was watching and you can see first setup of the day you guys know my how I trade by now hopefully and this was written in the discord but we had the first setup of the day where it cleared 393 also that 393.5 zone had a back test right here this candle was very tricky where it just bounced with drop but it bounced did not break down 393 and then you know we got some chop a little bit you know but overall when you pay attention to the price action and not just looking at the price but also look at the price action the behavior you can see that it was bouncing off that 393.5 level so there was no setup for puts after we broke out and cleared this level there was no setups for puts and then that's when we got that big pump around 130 that's when we had according to financial juice around 135 eastern that's when uh bostic said what he said and then i guess the market liked it and it just popped okay we caught we had this 395 level i was watching it cleared it on a 15 minute chart and just kept on going up for the rest of the day and you can see on a daily chart we recaptured that 50 percent fib level guys at 396.54 we also recaptured the 50 daily moving average, which is around 397. Okay, we got a false breakdown setup heading into tomorrow. Now, while that is that is a bullish setup, uh, bulls still got a lot of work that they need to do. You guys see my green trend line? Okay, resistance for that level is around 400.5. Okay, so for tomorrow, to be bullish, 396.5 to the 397 zone must hold that's the fib level 50 percent fib level as well combined with the 50 daily moving average that zone must hold that support so if spy is above it i would stay bullish because this false breakdown setup here is intact okay the next level i'll be watching is 398.48 okay that's that's a fib level from all-time high down to october low 38.2 fib level okay and then if that can clear We'll see behavior, how it behaves around my green trend line, the level around 400.5, okay? We'll give it a zone, 400 to 400.5, all right? If that can clear, that would be pretty bullish. However, there's also that 38.2 fib level 
that I'm also watching at 401.68. All right, bulls are going to have to clear that level. And then maybe I would be a lot more bullish and favor more upside. Okay, 404, 406.5, 408. Okay, if I make this trend line right here, a couple of touches, maybe I'll get a third touch. And if it does, it'll be around 410.7 ish. Okay, so that's the bull case scenario. And it would stay in play as long as today's false breakdown setup recaptures. If you don't know what a false breakdown setup is, it's when we break down support level. We broke down 396.5 on Tuesday. Today, we close back above that level. So once again, that level is now support for tomorrow. Okay? So yes, bullish as long as, as this setup is intact. All right? So that's the bull case. But the bear case, if SPY drops back below... 396.5, then this was most likely a dead cat bounce, okay? We didn't have much volatility as SPY was creeping downwards. So maybe this bounce today could draw in some retail traders to be bullish, okay? And the confirmation for us to turn bears is if it breaks back below 396.5. That will be the indicator that potentially today's breakout or false breakdown setup is a dead cat bounce okay 396.5 fail watch the 395 level and it definitely got to watch that 393 to 393.5 zone below the 200 daily moving average is very bearish there is no bull market in history that is below the 200 daily moving average common sense right so if it drops back below that's very bearish and the 61.8 fib levels at 391.4 of course, the 390 level, we got some pivot lows. If I bring up my AOL indicator here, we got some levels to watch around 388.5 and then 386.5 to 387 zone. We got some areas of liquidity there, potential stop losses set up down there according to this indicator. Okay, so bear case begins if 396.5 fails. Bull case stays intact as long as 396.5 holds as support. That is my equilibrium level. That's the land, uh, the line in the sand to be either bullish or bearish. And as sheeps, as sheeps, we're just going to react to the price action, whether it goes to the upside or to the downside, okay? You guys got my levels. Know the levels, know the setups, and just trade it unbiasedly, all right? Moving on to triple Q, we also have an outside daily can uh, green candle. It's pretty bullish, all right? Outside daily candle on triple Q. It opened below that 290.7 level, critical Fibonacci level, but it managed to recapture it intraday. All right, so there's support. Well, it's, it's below 294 right now. So first resistance is at 294, and the critical level I'll be watching is 295. All right, clusters of resistant levels close by. I don't like when that happens, but it happens, okay? Above 295, put 296.5, 298, 300, 302-ish in play. Maybe we can test this white trend line that's around 304-ish. Okay? Bull case scenario for Triple Q continues if it can clear 295, okay? RSI is not overbought, so it, it definitely will have strength to give us this bounce to the upside, okay? Now, it now watch the support. 292.5 and 290.7 are support. If Triple Q breaks back below, then today's bounce was most likely a dead cap bounce as well and that would be bearish watch that 280.5 level 284 and a drop to 281.2 ish could be possible all right iwm tested my green trend line here it opened below that level that yellow trend line i have here at 187.6 is it recaptured intraday but it's still testing this green trend line that i got it needs to break above 189 tomorrow to be bullish i do have resistance around 190.3 uh yeah, 190.3-ish, cleared that. Then 190.7, 193.5, and 196 are the next resistant. Bull, uh, bear case scenario starts on IWM. If it give us a close below 187.6, all right? With 185.7, 184, and 182 is below, all right? Apple, I was bullish on, uh, excuse me, I was bearish on Apple yesterday. It gapped down this morning. 
got very close to my 143.5 support before bouncing and look at that it tested that 146.6 support uh resistant level now it was yesterday support that broke down today we tested that breakdown level as a resistance so so far we get in a row reversal but bears must show follow through which means defending that level as resistant and breaking down 143.5 to trigger more downside down to 140 and 138 okay now if 146.6 recaptures be unbiased guys because we're just trying to make money and get some green pnls if it recaptures that's bullish okay and it would put 149 150 point 150.6 and 153.5 back in play all right tesla we had a big big gap down that may have got a lot of people bearish but intraday it ended it ended with a green candle okay so i got fib level from january low to february high the 23.6 fib level is now at 190 all right tesla managed to barely close above that today okay so for tomorrow 190 is a must hold level as support if you're bullish on tesla okay if it can hold we get we can we can put 199 back in play and maybe the gap fill around 202.5 is okay below 190 though i would be bearish on tesla with 186 uh and 180.5 and 176 is in play okay vix still breaking down that 21.2 level okay that 23.6 retracement level okay vix is not looking bullish right now vix is looking pretty bearish right now okay now the dxy is still basing here and it's still managing to stay above the 23.6 level uh, retracement level at 104.1 like I said, I'm going to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt as long as DXY is above 104.1, all right? But if it drops below that level, that's pretty bearish on the DXY. As long as it's above uh, 105.6 and 107 is still in play, okay? Now let's take a look at the option flow filter for 500k premiums or above, 50%, okay? 50 percent options are indecisive okay uh one thing that does stick out this is a block order 8.8 .8 million in premium over 5,000 in size for june 21st of 2024 450 strike price very uh out the money calls interesting okay so somebody thinks they, look, what are they buying leaps it's a good somebody thinks it's a good time to start adding right now all right, but overall though, 50% indecisive. Triple Q, 80% for puts. Nothing that really sticks out that fits my criteria though. But yeah, 80% in the puts. IWM, 100% in the puts. This one right here, sweep order, a 175 strike price for March 31st, okay? Maybe that's a sign to be bearish, but... That's what we got so far. Apple, 54% in the calls. Okay. Nothing that really sticks out though. Tesla, 90% in the uh, puts. Look at this one. This one is uh, 9.1 million in premium, over 12,000 in size. It's put 190 strike price. So for March 10th, so it's in the money. They got it to around the after around 11:47 though. Here's another one. Expiration dates May 19th. They got a 135 strike price on it. Over 7,000 size, 2.7 million. That's a pretty big bet to the downside. Okay. And last but not least, the VIX. Nothing for the VIX. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more content from Uncle Charters, please consider joining my Discord. Appreciate your support. Peace.